Hey everyone, in this video we will discuss all the previous year questions on profit and loss chapter from CVT, PG, MBA past year papers. So let us first discuss the breakup. So in 2022 we had two papers and one question each were there. In 2021 we had the maximum questions four. In 2020 we had three. In 2019 one. So there were a total of ten questions from last five year papers, last five paper sequence. Now one more thing, there is a separate dedicated telegram group for CVT PG MBA. This link you can find in the description. So if you want to join them, it will be highly beneficial for you. For example, you will get all the PDFs. So this PDF will be also there. Okay, so let's start the questions now. So the first question is from 2022 12 September paper. If cost price is 75% of selling price, now what is the profit percent? Okay. So if CP is 75% of SP. Can we write 75% as 3 by 4 into SP? So from here we can get CP by SP or you can say we will get a ratio of CP and SP. So cost price is 3 and selling price is 1. So there is a profit of 1, right? Profit of 1 over cost price of 3. So can we say that profit percent will be 1 by 3 into 100 percent? That would be 33.33 percent. That is C. So this is a very easy question. Let's move on to the next question. On selling 17 balls at rupees 720, there is a loss equal to the cost price of 5 balls. The cost price of a ball is. So this question from 2022 5th September paper. So we have 720 as my selling price, right? SP. There is a loss, lossage of 5 balls. 5 balls cost price. So let's say, let cost price of one ball is equal to CP. Okay. I am denoting it by CP only or you can assume it as any variable. So for five balls, five balls would be five into CP, five CP, right? Five into CP. Now since there is a loss, so can we write this equation as loss equal to cost per cost price minus selling price, right? So loss is 5 CP. Cost price, we don't know, but cost price of each ball is C, 1 CP. Cost price of one ball is CP. So for 17 balls would be 17 CP. So we can write 17 CP minus selling price. Selling price is already given 720. So from here, if you solve 12 CP, you can take this 5 CP to RHS and this minus 22 LHS, then you will get 720. So CP would be 720 by 12. From here we will get 60. So cost price of each ball is 60. Option C. Right. Let's move on to the next question. This is from 2021 paper. A man buys a cycle for rupees 1400 and sells it at a loss of 15%. Find the selling price of cycle. Okay. So loss percent is 15. CP is 1400. So SP would be obviously since loss is 15%. So my selling price is 85%, right? So can we say that selling price would be 85% of CP that is 1400. If you solve this, then you will get 85 by 100 into 1400. So from here, if you cancel this out. Then we get 14 into 85. 14 into 85. So 85, 14, you can write this as 14 into 80 plus 5, right? So from here you will get 1120. And from this one you will get 70. So you will get 1190. That is option C. Right? So option C is your answer. So let's move on to the next question. When a commodity is sold for rupees 34.80, there is a loss of 2%. What is the cost price of the commodity? So selling price is given 34.80. Loss percentage 2%. So what is the CP? So since there is a loss, so obviously selling price would be 2% less than 100%. That would be 98%. So can we say that 98% value is given as 34.80? 
and we have to find CP. It means that we have to find 100%. So now this is a question of unitary method. You are given 98% value and you want to find the 100% value. So you can write this as 34.80 y 98% into 100%. So you can cancel this percentage out. Now if I multiply these two, then I will get 3480, right? This decimal will go away divided by 98. Now, in order to solve this, can we cancel this out to, from 2 49 1 7 4 0? So, we have to calculate this 1 7 4 0 by 49. So, let us divide this 49 1 7 4 0. So, 3 times 120 and 147 7 2 0 equal to 5 times then we will get 245 so 525 0.0 again we will get 5 so 245 5 0 1 so 35.51 something so we got 35.51 options are okay so we have a 35.5 so this is approximate value so option D. So there were some calculations at the end, but otherwise this is also not that hard question. This is a very easy question. Okay, let's move on to the next question. The ratio of cost price and selling price is 4 is to 5. Then what is the profit? This is one of the easiest questions. CP is 4, you can directly say, and SP is 5. Right? So there is a profit of plus 1. There is a profit of 1 over 4. So 1 by 4 into 100 equal to 25 percent now here one more thing one thing that you should notice here is that in order to find profit percent or loss percent we don't need to know the actual values we don't need to know the actual values actual values of cost price and selling price ratio is enough right ratio is enough to find so if you notice here we don't know what is the cost price we also don't know what is the selling price but we know that their ratio is 4 is to 5 then we can find the profit percent and why does this work so let us discuss this so profit is nothing but selling price minus cost price profit percent is selling price minus cost price divided by selling sorry divided by cost price into 100 now if i manu if you manu manipulate this one so can you write this as sp by cp minus 1 into 100 right why because you divided each of these terms in the numerator by cp so you got sp by cp minus cp by cp that would be 1 so if you notice here we can directly say that my profit percent is this ratio minus 1 into 100 percent so this the ratio is important you don't need to know the actual values why because once you manipulate you get this ratio so this ratio is enough for your profit percent or loss percent okay. so you should understand this point very clearly that my yeah, that I need not know the actual values, my ratio is sufficient. So, where does this help? This help in some questions like let's say CP is given as 1500 and SP is given as 3500. And someone asks you what is profit percent. So, what you will do is SP minus CP that is profit is 2000 and CP is 1500 in 200. From here, we will get cancelled out. 5, 3, 400, so 400 by 3%. But you don't need to do this, right? What you can do is you can take the ratio directly. So this would get cancelled out 3 and 7, profit of 4 on 3. So 4 by 3 into 100, so we get 400 by 3%. So you can compare these two methods. There, there is calculation here, right? If you work on the actual values, but if you use ratios, Fuse ratios, then your calculation gets simplified. 
so always memorize this or you can say remember this as a thumb rule that when you know cp and sp then you try to take the ratios first if you find that there is something common then take ratio first and then calculate profit percent or loss percent this will save you a lot of time right and the second point is that you don't need to know the actual values of cp and sp their ratio is sufficient so you can directly work on ratios so these two points are very important i hope both are clear to you okay now we can move on to the next question this is from 2021 paper when a plot is sold for rupees 18700 the owner loses 15% at what price must the plot be sold in order to gain 15% so this again is very easy question selling price is 1870 the owner loses 15% it means that this is 85% value right this is 85% values of 18 At what price must the plot be sold in order to gain 15%? So, if you want to gain 15%, it means that you want to find the value of 115%, right? So, this is nothing but 100 plus 15%, and this is 100 minus 15%. So, okay? that's why I'm writing it directly. Now, you have to solve this. Now, how to solve fast? So, in such questions, what you can do is you can take ratio actually of these two. You can take ratio of these two. So you can cancel this out by 570 and this 23. So in another words, this value is of 17. So what is the value of 23? This is of this this is the value of 17 units. So what is the value of 23 units? So can I say that 18 1700 by 17? This is value of one unit. And for 23 unit, I will multiply this. So from 17, you can cancel this out one times 110 into 23. So 23 into 1100. So 23 into 11 that would be 230 plus 223 that would be 253 double zero so 253 zero zero so that would be option C. Okay. So this pattern is very very frequent one actually we have solved this in other questions as well right that you know one percentage value and you want to find the other percentage value then you can take ratio as well it will save you a lots of time. Okay, I think now we can move on to the next question. Sorry, I think one question is missed. In a certain store, the profit is three twenty percent of the cost. If cost increases by twenty five percent, but selling price remains constant, approximately what percent of selling price is the profit? Okay, so this thing is known as margin percent. Margin percent. Okay. In other words, if you want to find your profit percent as the percentage of selling price, then that would be Margin percent, and what is profit percent? Profit is the profit per prof the percentage of profit on the base of cost price. Okay, so that's the difference. So profit percent is profit upon CP by CP in two hundred, and margin percent is profit upon selling price in two hundred. Okay, you don't need to know this term. Margin percent is not that common, but still I have told you. Okay, so you have to find here margin percent or You can say what is the percentage of profit as part as percentage of selling price. So your profit is three twenty percent. So let's say let us say CP is hundred. So what would be my selling price? So profit is three twenty percent of this. So profit is three twenty. So selling price would be I will add this value right four twenty. Now if cost increases by twenty five percent, so I am increasing this. By twenty five percent, so twenty five percent. If I increase, this would become one twenty five. But selling price is constant, so selling price is still four twenty. So what percent of selling price is the profit? So what is the profit here? Profit is four twenty minus one twenty five. That would be two twenty plus seventy five. That is two ninety five. I have to find this thing. What percent of selling price is the profit? So two nine five divided by selling price. Selling price is four twenty. In two hundred, so you can cancel this out. Now you can cancel. I think five times twenty one times. So two nine five into five divided by twenty one. So there will be some calculations here. Can we approximate this? I think we can approximate, right? So we have two nine five into five upon twenty one. So let us focus on this portion. Can I approximate this as twenty? So let's say approximate this as twenty. And why am I, am I approximating this? Because all the percentages are very far away, right? So I can take my chances from 
I can approximate to a small values. Okay. So 5 by 20 would be 1 by 4. So can we say that 295 into 1 by 4? Or if you divide this value by 4, then you will get 7 times 15. That would be 73 point something. So this is approximately 73 point something. So our answer is so the approximately what percent? So the closest one is 70 percent. Okay. So B also. So I hope this is clear to you. Let's move on to the next question. Okay, okay so this is from 2020 paper and this question is not an ideal, not a regular one, I would say. This is a data sufficiency. Data sufficiency. Problem. Now there is a question asked here and there are some data given and you have to ascertain whether those data points are sufficient to answer this question or not. And if it is sufficient then what are the data needed? So the question is by selling an article what is the profit percent gain? And there are three data. 5% discount is given on list price. If discount is not given 20% profit is earned then the cost price of the article is rupees 5000. And options are only 1 and 2, only 2 and 3, only 1 and 3 and all 1, 2 and 3. Okay. So how can we solve? I think we have to take options, one by one options. That is the only way. So we have, let us try to solve the risk. We want to find profit percent. We have to find profit percent is what? And the first question is 5% discount is given on the list price. So let's say list price is something 100. So my selling price is, if you give 5% discount, that would be 95 and you have to find profit percent. But can I find profit percent from 1? No, I don't know the CP, right? This is my least price, LP. This is my, you can say, SP. But in order to find profit percent, you need CP as well, right? Otherwise, how can you find? From least price or mark price, you can't find the profit percent. You need CP and SP. But I know only SP, I can't, I don't know CP. So one alone is not sufficient. Also, there are no one alone is not in the options. Okay, so let's go by options. So only one and two. So I have used one and let's use the data two. If discount is not given, 20% profit is gained. Okay. Let's go to the next page. So the first one was 5% discount on list price. Second point is no discount is given if if no discount is given then then 20 percent then 20 percent profit okay now how can we proceed this so let us say list price List price is L. Okay. So if you give 5% discount, then what is your selling price? SP would be L into 95%. So 95 by 100, 19 by 20. So 19 L by 20 is your selling price. And second question if no discount is given. So understand this. If you don't give any discount on your list price, so your list price becomes selling price, right? So your list price. List price is now equal to selling price. So can I say that my selling price is also L now? Okay. Then 20% profit is there. So profit is profit percentage is 20%. Then we have to find what is the overall profit percent if I use these two data. Now how can I combine these two? So profit percent is 20 percent. So can we say that CP would be SP into or rather I would say do it reverse. So SP would be CP into 6 by 5. Right. SP would be CP into 655 but I know that SP is SP is this L 
so replace this by L so from here I will get CP equal to 5L by 6 okay so I got two values here CP is 5L by 6 and SP is 19L by 20 so now I can find profit percent right now I can find profit percent I don't I am not going to calculate this because obviously this is easy one you will write SP minus CP divided by CP into 100 so there is no need to calculate in such questions only you have to find whether you can find find the profit percent or not I can find the profit percent right if I combine these two data 1 and 2 I can find the profit percent so we can find profit percent okay so I hope this was clear to you this is slightly tricky one this is a good question I would say because you can get confused also if you find such questions in your exam then I would say solve these questions at the end otherwise this may be time consuming okay okay so this option a is correct so there is no need to check b c and d okay. let's move on to the next question what is the percentage profit earned by the shopkeeper on selling the articles in the shop so again we have to find profit percent profit percent level price of the article sold by 130 percent of the cost price so let's say level price cost price so cost price is 100 so level price is 130 so can i from this data can i find profit percent no i don't know sp right i need cp and sp to find profit percent least price or mark price is not sufficient so one alone can't do it so a option is gone to cost price of each article by rupees 550 so cost price is given as 550 let's say but again uh, from two i can't do anything but if i combine these two one and two then my lp would be 130 percent of this one right but again sp is not available sp is not available right so again that is so neither i can do only two is also not sufficient let's move on to this portion c option one and three if i combine one and three so 130 percent of cost price let's say 100 and 130 a discount of 10 percent of level price are offered so a discount is there okay so a discount is there a discount of 10 percent on this minus 10 percent so i will get my sp right so 10 percent 13 170 now i know both things right cp and sp from here we can say that profit percent is 17 percent you don't even need to find this but since this was easy then i am saying once you get CP and SP, you can always calculate profit percent. So this means that one and three is sufficient to solve my question. Okay. So both these questions were good. This was a slightly easy one, and this was a good question. I would say this this is certainly time consuming. Ideally, you should not solve this question in the exam. Second one is easy. Or if you if you solve this question, then you should do it at last if you have some time. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. This is from 2019 paper. The cost price of 20 articles is same as the selling price of X articles. If profit is 25%, then value of X is okay. So CP of 20, let's say CP of one article. Let cost price of one article is CP. Okay, I'm denoting it by CP because it is easy one. It is same as the selling price of X articles. Okay. So let's say 20 into CP. So 20 C cost price of 20 articles is same as X into selling price. Okay. If profit is 25%, then the value of X is. So profit percent is profit percent is 25%. It means that 1 by 4. Okay. So if profit percent is 1 by 4, then can I say that? SP of one article would be CP into 5 by 4, right? So we can say that 20 into, okay, so SP is 5 by 4, so 20, so 20 into CP equal to X into CP into 5 by 4. I am replacing this SP from this value, okay? So from here we can cancel out CP. And this x would be equal to 20 into 4 by 5. So from here you can cancel out 4. 4 into 4, 16. Okay. So 16 articles is the answer. C option. Okay. Now one more thing you could have done is by ratios. 
what you could have done is you can find ratio from here right 20 into cp so what you can do is since 20 cp equal to x sp so you can say that cp by sp cp by sp is equal to x by 20 Uh, since profit is 25%, then you know that CP and SP ratio is CP and SP ratio is 4 is to 5, right? Because 1 by 4 increase would be there on CP. So if CP is 4, then selling price would be 5 for 25%. So we know this ratio actually. So X by 20 equal to 4 by 5. So from here, if you solve, then you will get 5, 4 and X equal to 60. So both ways you can solve this is a ratio method and this is a traditional substitution one. Okay. So this, in, this method is actually known as multiplying factor. I have multiplied by 5 by 4. So I hope both the methods are clear to you. Okay, so all questions are done. So there were total 10 questions. Similarly, we have done for other chapters as well. So, percentage is already done. Ratio proportion is also done. Then we have mixture and delegation. So, we have covered lots of chapters and we will also cover more such chapters. So, if you like our content, then you can subscribe to our channel. Okay. So, thank you.